Hello. It's good to see you. Today I have a package here from a wonderful person, one of my subscribers. I want to say a special thank you to Rachel for this. I have not looked at it yet. I'm sorry I have not gotten to it sooner. Um, it came right on time. It did, just like you said it would. It got here really quickly. I just have not had a chance to look at it. I am so sorry, but I, it's, I am really excited to see what this is. It's big and it's heavy. My goodness. Um, I went ahead and I cut the tape on the top. You taped it very well. You did a great job with that. And thank you for sending me something. That was really sweet. Let's see. I may have to set it on the floor because it's kind of tall. There's a I got a card. Oh, look at the sticker on the back. Oh my gosh. It looks like a it looks like a seahorse with a pompadour. Look at that. <laughs> you know, I have one tattoo and it's a seahorse and yeah, that's cool. I like that. Neat. That is I don't want to mess up that sticker. Hold on a minute. You know, I have this pointer that I use and I'm actually going to use it in a video in a little bit. It's actually a letter opener and I'm going to use it for its intended purpose here which I never get to do. There we go. It's very excited. It got to fulfill its purpose today. Let's see. That way, and see, that way I don't mess up my sticker. Oh, isn't that pretty? Look at that beautiful picture. Look. Oh, that's, I wish I was there right now. There are little golden glints, golden glints on the water. It's a little shiny metallic gold. Look at that. Oh, it just sparkles. Ooh, that's beautiful. Wow, I got a letter. I got a letter, look. Oh my gosh. Here, let me set this down. I want to read this. Wow. Okay. Hi, Mary. I was the one who sent the octopus... Oh, oh, sorry. I was the one you sent the octopus necklace charm to. I remember that from one of your Goodwill jewelry haul bags. I remember that. That was cool. That was a cool little uh, little charm. I wanted to thank you for your gracious gift by sending you some goodies from my neck of the woods. And also some goodies that reminded me of things you have mentioned you like from your videos. All the snacks in the box are either from Pennsylvania, where I live now, or Maryland, where I was born, because I really enjoy when you take us on a tour of a part of NC where your dad lives, or just local foods you find around your hometown. I need to do some more of that. I was first introduced to you when I searched for ASMR gift wrapping on YouTube two years ago. Your Christmas gift wrapping videos came up, and I've been hooked ever since. Well, thank you. My favorite videos from you are, of course, the annual Christmas gift wrapping videos, any video where you unwrap tissue paper and press it down, your weekly outfit show and tells, your Dollar Tree walkthroughs, your Dollar Tree shelf organization. Man, I really miss those. Me too. Your Goodwill jewelry hauls and your cook-along videos. If I may speak for a majority of your subscribed fans, we love your cook-along videos and don't really care what kind of t-shirts you wear. <laughs> you keep baking some S, Mary, and we'll keep watching. <laughs> you, you know, my videos are still being uh, reviewed manually. Yeah, somebody didn't like my shirt. I'm still in the corner for that. Silence is strength when it comes to haters on the internet. I believe you are a nice person and you give so many of us the ability to calm down and relax when our days have been filled with stress and anxiety, even when your days have been as well, aka your home renovations. Goodness girl, I hope you meet a decent general contractor one day, ha ha. That would be nice. I do not know how to repay you for the many nights you've helped me fall asleep. So from the bottom of my heart in PA to your mailbox in NC, Thank you, thank you, thank you for being you. Don't change ever. Enjoy the goodies. You deserve them along with all the greatness that comes your way. Sincerely, Rachel. P.S. Don't worry if you don't know the proper way to pronounce a company of one of the snacks I sent you. When you call stuff Frank or Bob, it cracks me up. <laughs> I might as well just call it Frank because if I'm going to get it wrong, I want to get it completely wrong. Well, thank you. That is such a nice card. 
Look at that. That's awesome. Thank you. Well, that was really thoughtful. Now, let's see. Oh, look. This is always interesting to me. Whenever I get a package, like if I get something on eBay especially, and it comes from another part of the country or whatever, if they use plastic bags as padding, I like to look at them and see if these are stores that we have around here. Let's see. Here's one. Welcome to Bargain Bliss. Gross, it's a bar the bargain market grocery outlet. I'm not familiar with that. Here's a bag from a grocery a grocery outlet bargain market. We don't have those here. I want to just travel. You know, when I get older, I want to just travel all over the country and go to some of these stores that I'm not familiar with and make videos in there. So we can experience them together for the first time. I think that would be so fun. I want to travel anyway, and I could just do that while I'm at it. Let's see. Now this is the color of the Walmart bags here, but this is not Walmart. Kenny's. Hang on. Kenny's, K-E-N-N-I-E-S, Kenny's Marketplace. Oh, there's a pharmacy too, Kenny's Pharmacy. Employee owned, oh, that's cool. Is that like a grocery store? Kenny's Marketplace. We don't have those here either. You know, I spent a week up in, uh, uh, right outside of Pittsburgh when I was a child. My dad had a friend up there. He was in Vietnam, and one of the guys he knew in Vietnam lived up there right outside of Pittsburgh. And I was maybe nine or ten years old, and we went up there one summer for a week to stay with them. And it was funny. They lived in this little suburb, and there were all these, you know, houses everywhere. It was like, it looked like something right out of um, all the TV show, The Wonder Years. It was kind of like that. And all the kids in the neighborhood were fascinated with the way I talked. And they would come over to play because they had two kids about my age and they would come over to play but they wanted to hear me talk and they would ask me to say different things <laughs> they but the funny thing was I was fascinated with the way they talked because they said things differently and I thought that was interesting so we just that was part of you know we would just while we were playing that just would come up every now and then it was really fun and one time when I was about the same age around the same time my dad had a, a friend that worked for um, a furniture company and he delivered furniture all over the country and he had his own truck he had this peterbilt truck this big you know like a semi and i don't even remember why we did it but my dad and my brother and i rode with him all the way up to pittsburgh no not pittsburgh somewhere in pennsylvania in this truck um and we my brother and i had to hide back in the sleeper in the little part back there whenever the truck was going through the the uh, scales or the inspections or, or anything we had to hide under blankets so they didn't see us it was very exciting because we were not supposed to be with them and I remember we went down this one back road somewhere in, in Pennsylvania and the, the road was so it had so many potholes that my brother and I were bouncing around in the back like popcorn it was hilarious my dad was worried about it, and we thought it was great. We wanted to turn around and go over it again. We were just getting bounced everywhere back there. <laughs> it was an adventure. It really was. It was a lot of fun, and it was exciting hiding under those blankets because there's always the fear that they might catch you. They didn't catch us. Here's another Kenny's bag. Kenny's Marketplace. I see. I start seeing this stuff. I want to go up there and check them out. It's, Pennsylvania is not that far from here. Kenny's. I don't know them. Here's a bag. This might just be a plain bag. No, it's not. Oh, it's another um another bargain market. Grocery outlet. Bargain market. Is that like Aldi or something? I don't know. 
people ask me all the time about Kroger. See, a lot of people seem to think Kroger is, is statewide. It's not. We don't have any Krogers here in Greensboro. We used to, but they were all turned into Harris Teeters. Um, I miss Kroger. I really liked Kroger, but there's not one anywhere around here. Not anymore. We just got our first, um, we got our first Publix about a year ago. And this one's different. Asian food. Asianfoodmarkets.com. We don't have that either. Looks like you have several locations. You have, what do you have? North Plainfield, Plainsboro, Pisc... I can't pronounce these names. Pisca... Pisca... Piscataway... Piscataway... I don't know. Marlboro, Staten Island, Jersey City. The corporate office is in South Plainfield... New Jersey. That's cool. We don't, yeah, we don't have those either. I'm starting to feel deprived. I know it's isn't part of it. I'm sorry. I just, I always do this. Have these exotic bags. Oh, I'm familiar with this. Didn't I go to one of these? Hang on. Wegmans. Is that I think I, I think I did a walkthrough of a Wegmans in, was it Raleigh? I, I can't remember now where. Somewhere east of here, I went to a Wegmans because there was, a, um, there was an old Kmart there that was going to close. Or no, I went there first and then later found out it was going to close. And I went and did a walkthrough of Wegmans, but we don't have them here in Greensboro. It was a cool store. That was a really neat store. It just, it kind of reminded me of Harris Teeter. It was like, it was kind of like a Harris Teeter. This is another, yeah, another Wegmans bag. See, I reuse these bags, and the ones I don't reuse, I recycle. This is another bargain market is it called bargain no grocery outlet bargain market yeah and here's the last bag and it's another it's another bargain market okay this box is full oh my word you you really went above and beyond what if, wow there's so much stuff in here I know it seems like it was full of bags, but that was just the top because they squished down. I have chips. Oh. These are Martin's potato chips. We don't have these here. Not that I've ever seen. Munch with Martin's bursting with flavor. These are barbecue waffle. Now, does that mean they taste like barbecue and waffles? I had chicken and waffles at this place up in the mountains. I cannot rem and I, I cannot remember the name of it. That was the best meal I've had in I don't know how long. And it, it um now they did the chicken and waffle biscuit at Biscuitville for a while. I wasn't too impressed with it. Um, but I had chicken and waffles where you have you have a um, fried chicken breast and only had a little bit of breading on it. It was huge, and it sounds nasty, but it was really good. So you have a layer of uh, real mashed potatoes on the bottom of the plate, and then you put the fried chicken breast on top of that, and then you you put, there's a gravy, there's like a sausage gravy, no, mashed potatoes, I'm getting hungry just thinking about it, mashed potatoes, sausage gravy on top of that, then fried chicken breast on top of that, and then on top of the chicken, you have a big waffle, a great big waffle, and uh, raspberry syrup. On top of that it sounds nasty it was so incredibly good I would drive all the way back up there just to have it again it was I would totally I would totally drive all the way back up there to get another one it was it was delicious and it was I, I'm sorry I got off track but it was it was supposed to be a single serving but it was huge and Glenda the Good Witch and I were together so we just split it we just got one and split it and it was more than enough for both of us for lunch. It was, I had never had it before. Oh my goodness. 
and I cannot remember the name of the place. I'll have to ask him what it was because I can't remember. It was so incredibly good. Because he, when, when he, he, he went to pick it up, we were cleaning the condo. He went to pick it up. And I'm looking at it like, you know, he brought it in in the container and I'm looking at it. And I said, ooh. I mean, I said, I'm sorry. It just looks nasty. <laughs> I said, I don't know if I want to eat that. It was so incredibly good. If you ever get a chance to try something like that, try it because it's, it's amazing. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I, anyway, but I was just wondering, I'm going to have to try these. Is it, are they just, wa are they waffle shaped potato chips or are they waffle flavored? I don't know. I've never heard of that. Okay, so are they, are they like kettle chips or is this like barbecue? I don't know what this is, but I am looking forward to trying it. It doesn't say on the back, but yeah. Okay, there's one. Oh, there's more. There's more. Now, see, this leads me to believe it is waffle flavored because this one has sour cream. Oops, it's rebelling. Sour cream and onion flavor, which I love. I'm going to have to hide these from my kids because my younger son has suddenly decided that potato chips are the best thing in the world. He never used to eat them, but now all of a sudden, he loves them. Oh, here's another one. Here we have some sea salted potato chips. Now, this is a one ounce bag. I believe they all are. One ounce sea salt potato chips. Gluten free, no trans fat. Since 1941. Wow, that's something. Well, that's cool. I like plain potato chips. Well, I look forward to trying all of those. Oh, we do have some kettle chips in here. Let's see. Ooh, these are fancy. Martin's Kettle Gold. Look at that fancy bag. They are made with the golden light taste of sunflower oil. Kettle cooked potato chips. I should have eaten before I started this video. I'm really hungry. Kettle cooked potato chips. They're slow cooked in 100% sunflower oil, which gives them a golden light taste and exceptional crunch that you are sure to enjoy. I bet I will. They look yummy. They do look really good in the bag on the picture there. These are made in a golden kettle. Looks like it. All right. Well, I look forward to that too. We have some other things in here. Oh, look at this beautiful paper. This is tissue paper. Well, you did say you liked it when I squished down tissue paper. I've always liked that sound too. This feels like chocolates. It's heavy. I think these are chocolates. I could be wrong. Let's see. I'm a mom. I always have my scissors handy. Let's see if that did it. I think this is the underside. Oops, no. You did a good job wrapping this. My mother taught me to wrap presents when I was eight years old because she got sick of doing it. From the time I was eight until I left home at 17, I wrapped everybody's presents but mine. I'm surprised she didn't put mine in a box and make me wrap those two. My parents really didn't like Christmas. Even now, when she talks about it, it sounds like she's referring to a root canal. Okay. That is really pretty paper. It makes me think of peacock feathers. It's pretty... There's a note. Look at the cute note. Okay. Fit, Fitz Keys. Fitz Keys candies are great. Enjoy some every day. They are candies. Fitz Keys is a small local candy shop located in the city of Spry. City of Spry in York, Pennsylvania. They've been in business for over 75 years. I told them to surprise me with candies for you. I hope you like. A little smiley face. Ooh, it's sealed. 
So we don't know what they are. It's a surprise. Oh, that's the... Gosh, that's a pound of candy. My goodness. My goodness. Well, that was really sweet of you. I wonder what they've surprised us with. there. Oh my goodness, that smells so yummy. We have chocolate covered pretzels, all kinds of little, little chocolate goodies. Oh my goodness, that looks like a toffee right there. Ooh, I can tell I didn't eat yet. Mm, that smells so good. This looks like chocolate covered peanuts. Oh, I really look forward to trying these. I'm gonna have to hide this whole box from my kids because if I don't, I won't get any of this. Well, my older son is allergic to peanuts, so he, he avoids stuff like this just to be on the safe side, but my younger son will tear that up. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to try one right now because I'm really hungry, and I just, I have to. Let's see. This looks like a, this looks like it would be, I don't know why, I think it's a little peanut butter cup, but it may not be, like, you know, like a Reese's cup. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, that's nice. Oh, that chocolate is so good. You know what? I would say that's better than a Reese's cup. <clears throat> and that's saying something because I really like Reese's cups. The peanut butter flavor is better. Like you can really taste it. It's not as sweet. It's a little bit less sweet. And the chocolate is really good. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh. I really look forward to these. Thank you so much. Mmm. Mmm. We don't have anything like that here. Let's see. Here is a... Look at that. Oh, okay. Rudders. It's from, oh, okay, there's a note. Check it out. It's a coffee cup, a coffee mug. The first fill is free. This is my favorite gas station in PA. They started out as a dairy farm. Hmm. I feel like I have chocolate on my face. I now have 78 locations in PA, West Virginia, and Maryland. Rudders. Why go anywhere else? Well, thank you. That's cool. I like the shape of it, too. Yeah, we don't have those. I've never heard of rudders before. That's interesting. How how do you go from a dairy farm to a gas station? I mean, that's kind of a, that's a big leap. Nevertheless, I mean, it, never mind the fact you went from a dairy farm to 78 gas stations. That's interesting. I would like to know the story behind that. How do you how do you approach your spouse like if you own a, if you have a dairy farm and you have a spouse or a partner or other people there how do you how do you bring that up like you know I was thinking these cows are kind of boring what if we put in some gas pumps <laughs> no I, I think that's awesome I, I, stuff like that fascinates me I like to know like how did you get from here to there that's just really wild huh thank you. That is so cool. Oh, I look forward to using that. That looks like a nice insulated little little thermos there. Cool. It has the R on it for rudders. Neat. Thank you. Okay, there we go. I'll put that over there. Now. Oh, there's something in bubble wrap. I don't know what that is. It could be anything. bag. It's in a, oh, it's a bubble wrap bag. That's cool. Let's see. Oh, okay. It says, here, there's a note taped to it. It says, I make soap for extra money. This bar is called Spa Tonic. 
made with 50% lard and 50% coconut oil. There's a cocoa line and lavender, sorry. There's a cocoa line and lavender petals from my own garden. Enjoy. Wow. Oh, I want to smell. I want to smell. I admire people that can do that. I don't know how to do that kind of stuff. My former sister-in-law makes soap out of goat's milk. It's just really cool. I don't know how to do that kind of stuff. This tissue paper is pretty. It's navy blue. I want to just open it up just enough to smell. I want to keep it wrapped up. Oh, no, wait. I want to show it to you. I see what you're talking about now. That's cool. I want, you got to see this. I don't want to cut your note, though. There. This is, this is neat. I want to I wanna tile my backsplash with this. Something that looks like this. No, really. Look at that. Look at that. That is cool. Isn't that neat? And there's where it's, you know, come, you cut it, I guess. That is beautiful. Oh, it smells nice. It has a nice scent. Look at that. How do you do that? <laughs> I'm serious. Oh, that is so cool. And you can see the, the little flecks in there. It's at the lavender. What was it? I'm sorry. Lavender petals? Mmm. Wow. That smells so good. That's really nice. Thank you. I look forward to trying that. That is cool. Thank you. You're very, you're very industrious and resourceful. That's awesome. Another. I have another bag of chips. Let's see. Now these are... These are, again, from Martin's. They're kettle cooked. Now, these are hand cooked potato chips. That's, how do you hand cook a potato chip? I'm, let's see, it doesn't tell me. Well, I wonder what the difference is between these and the others. I don't know, but they're, they're hand cooked. I'm looking forward to trying those too. I think these are just uh, plain hand cooked. Interesting. I wonder too. I wonder if they're any thicker or if the thickness is the same. Well, I look forward to trying those too. Gosh, I have one, two, three, four, five bags. Oh man, that's awesome! Thank you. I have another gift. You really, wow. This is you're awesome. I have the best subscribers anywhere. I do. I don't care what anybody says. Their subscribers don't compare. I mean, unless some of them are the same as mine, and then they're right. This paper is pretty. You wrap things like I do. That's the way my mother taught me to do it. So she wouldn't have to do it anymore. <laughs> she doesn't really do anything for Christmas anymore. She, I think she's decided that since... Oops. Now that she's 80, she doesn't have to do it anymore. Oh, what is this? Oh my gosh, there's a note. Let's see. Since you have a new home office, enjoy this pen and pencil holder made in Germany. Oh my God, that's so cool! It's a little, a little stand-up, a uh, little pen and pencil holder. That is so cute. One hundred percent made in Germany. <laughs> that is adorable. I've never seen anything like that. How does that work? You okay? So it's it's looks like it's four or five pieces, and you hook them together, and it makes a little Volkswagen bus, and it has plaid on it. I have never seen anything like that. And then you put your pens and pencils in the top. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I will definitely use that. <laughs> thank you. That is so cool. Where did you where did you find that? <laughs> Man, that is neat. Thank you. 
I wanted to do a whole video about working from home and how that has gone so far. I've now been doing it for um, a whole month, a little more over a month, but I wanted to do a video about it. I just, I just haven't. It kind of took over my life for a little while, but it's, it's, and I still, I'm still really backed up. So it, it does take up a lot of my time and my energy and my mental resources, but it's, it's going to get better. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. It's going to, it's going to kind of calm down and smooth out. We're getting there, but it's, it's, oh, it's something. And we have tasty, um, tasty cake, crimpets, butterscotch, crimpets. Now we do have tasty cake stuff here. We didn't always, um, I think Tasty Cake first started to show up. I could be wrong, but I think it first started showing up. I started seeing it down here probably about five or six years ago. Um, I'm not familiar with this, though. Butterscotch Crimpets. It looks like little, um, it looks like little Twinkies almost, but I love butterscotch. I really do. I love butterscotch flavored stuff. Well, I am definitely going to try that. Little, uh, they're sponge cakes with butterscotch icing. Interesting. Well, thank you. I don't believe I've seen those before. Oh, my. A little package of cookies. This is from, I don't know how to say this. We do have this here. But I don't think I've ever tried them, though. Her, her, hairs. Here's, I don't know, is that German? I'm not really sure. Little lemon cream flavored sandwich cookies. Yeah, I'm going to have to hide these for sure. These have a creamy filling that is lemon flavored. It's a little package, three and a half ounces. A little package of cookies. I haven't had any lemon cookies in so long. I'm definitely looking forward to these. And I think, I think I'm going to have to take all the food items and store them away somewhere, like find a cabinet. And just Everybody needs a snack cabinet if you have kids. You really need your own designated spot where they can't find it. Even if you have to move it occasionally, you put it in witness protection or something, that way they don't know. You gotta have that. Because you, you deserve your own snacks. You really do. You don't have to share everything with your kids. They need to learn, too, that they're not the center of the universe and they don't get everything. Oh, we have some sticks. Look at that. Mm, this is from Bronco Billy's. They are sweet barbecue meat sticks. I've never heard of Bronco Billy's. Made in Littlestown, uh, PA. It was distributed by Stony Point Incorporated in Littlestown, PA. StonyPointFarmMarket.com. Oh, don't they look good? Look how dark they are. Sweet barbecue. I have not had anything like this in a while. I'm really looking forward to that. Thank you. Sweet barbecue. I love good barbecue. Oh, wow. It's a big thing. Gosh. What on earth is this? Ooh. It's big. Let's see. There's tape, but I can't get at it. trying. <laughs> I'll work with me. Oops. Well, I have to say, you are really good at packing things. And this is fragile, too. I have the worst luck shipping fragile things. I do. It doesn't matter how I pack it. It never gets there in one piece. Unless I send it, I did send something UPS recently that was fragile, and it got there okay, but it cost an arm and a leg to mail it. But I sent it UPS because every time I send it by the postal service, it gets broken every time. Let's see. Boy. I'm going to have fun with all this bubble wrap, too. This is the good kind that pops really well. I love to pop bubble wrap. Oh, I popped one already. Oh, look. Oh my 
gosh. It's a baking mug and a little whisk. Cake is a hug in a mug. Oh, that's look, it's so cute. It has a little hole in it here and here where you can stick. You can just keep your little whisk in there. I want to tell you why this is perfect. This is awesome because I have this um, I have this mug cake mix and it's chocolate. Um, it's actually low carb. I'm not doing low carb anymore. I'll make it back to it eventually, but it's a low carb chocolate mug cake mix. But I did not have a mug that was a good size for it. It's just I bought I bought it in bulk. I got this great big bag of it, um, and you just use a couple of scoops at a time. This is perfect. This is absolutely perfect because I can use this for my Primal Noms mug cake mix cake is a hug in a mug. Thank you so much. That is really going to come in handy. I might make some of it anyway. It's not bad for you if you're not doing low carb. It's just, it just doesn't have a lot of carbs in it. It's really good though. You just put the, you put the mug, the cake mug, the mug cake mix in there and an egg. And I think that's it. I don't think you, well, no, I think you have to add some oil to it and one egg and some oil and you mix it and you stick it in the microwave for a minute or something. I don't know. But it comes out and it's just this nice little cake. It's just a little chocolate cake. And you just scoop it out and eat it. It's so good. But this is way better. I was trying to use this other mug, but it wasn't quite big enough. So I'd have to adjust the recipe a little bit and not put as much in there. And it was just weird. So this is perfect. This, this mug is the perfect size. It is the perfect size for that. So thank you very much. This is really awesome. And I even have a little whisk that I can mix it with, which is going to be better than trying to mix it with a spoon. But it's too small to use a regular whisk. So this is perfect, and you can just store it right there so they'll always be together when you need them. That is super awesome. Thank you so much. You solved a problem that I had, and I really appreciate it. <laughs> You didn't know, but you did. That's perfect. Otis Spunkmeyer. We do have this here. Oh, these are so good. Oh my gosh. I have not had one of these in so long. This is Ot Otis Spunkmeyer, said with my accent, because that's just how it comes out. Otis Spunkmeyer. This is a chocolate, chocolate chip muffin. Oh, it's so heavy. These things are so good. And they're, they're surprisingly filling, too. Ooh. Oh, look how dark that chocolate is. Oh, that is going to be so good. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that is awesome. Um, we do have Otis Spunk, uh, Spunkmeyer here, but you have, to go, um, you have to go to certain stores to find it. So I'm really looking forward to that. Thank you. I think they have, I think they have Otis Spunkmeyer um, Harris Teeter and maybe Lowe's Foods. Cookies. Soft cookies. These are from Hairs or I, I know that's not right or Hars or I don't, I'm sorry. Frank. Frank made these. Two chocolate chip cookies and they are soft. Ooh, that's going to be so good. This is a two and a half ounce package and it contains two cookies in here. Oh, that's going to be really good. I know. Now, I have not seen these here. I have seen the little cookies that they make, but not this. This is something I'm not familiar with. So, I am really looking forward to that, too. <laughs> okay. I have a frog in my throat this morning. I don't know. I think it's my allergies. I have a really bad allergy to uh, goldenrod pollen, which is oddly specific, but goldenrod is this weed that you see everywhere around here on the side of the road and every year when that stuff starts to release its pollen it my throat is just jacked up sorry i've had it all my life Ooh, 
This is soft. Look at that blue, beautiful blue. It almost matches my sweater. It's a little bit lighter. Isn't that beautiful blue. Let's see. I have to say, Rachel, you are awesome. Look at all these goodies I'm getting. Oops. <laughs> Look at that. Where did you find these? Oh my goodness, there's two of them. Look at these little kitchen towels. Look at that bus. It's sparkly. Oh, you can't see it, but right along the trim here, there is some iridescent glitter. It's very subtle, but there's a little bit of iridescent glitter right there. And just on the little trim, like the bumper. Where did you find these? Christmas tree shops. What? These are only a dollar. These are from Chris. We have a Christmas tree shops here, but I haven't seen these. Of course, I haven't been in there lately, but look. Oh, those are cool. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, and in the middle, because they can't use the Volkswagen logo because it's a uh, copyright. They have S-U-R-F. It says surf in the middle. Sometimes you'll see a little peace sign right there. Yeah, you can't use their logo without their permission, but yeah, that's cool. I don't want to wait until summer to use these. I'll use them in the winter time. You know when it gets all drab and depressing outside and everything's dead? See, I can use these then and it'll cheer me up. I love that, that lemon yellow color too. And there's a little surfboard up there. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my gosh. We need to do a video in Christmas tree shops. We need to go back over there. I can't remember, but I think that's one of the stores that has loud music in it. So I would have to dub over commentary, but you can find neat stuff in there. I mean, year round, you can go in there and find cool stuff. Let's do this. I am going to butcher the name of this. Sugar cookies. Ah, they're sugar cookies. I don't know why I thought they were donuts. It looks like a little bag of donuts. It's not. Otter beans. Otter beans. I'm sorry. I said that wrong. Otter, otter beans. Frank's. Uh, it's Frank's cookies. Established 1881. A seven ounce bag of sugar cookies. Ooh. Otter, otter beans bakery is a Baltimore tradition. The people of Baltimore have been enjoying Ot Otterbein's cookies since 1881. When Adam Otterbein, Otterbein arrived from Germany and opened a small bakery near Fort McHenry. Although he made all sorts of traditional German breads and pastries, his thin sugar cookies, cut by hand, were what propelled his modest bakery to success. Otterbein's cookies became a local favorite as word spread. Visitors in the know began seeking out the delicate cookies. Oh my gosh. How about that? It says today that the bakery is run by his great-grandson, Mark, who spent his teen years competing with other employees to be the fastest cookie cutter in the bakery. <laughs> wow. Boy, they do look yummy. I have never heard of that. And I love sugar cookies. They're cut in shapes. I can't quite see through the little hole, but it looks like they're little, little shapes. Oh, I look forward to that. Thank you so much. I love to try stuff from other areas that I've never heard of. A little thin sugar cookies. How about, oh gosh, I bet those are good. Oh, mm. Here's a little goodie. Look, it's a little, a little thing. What is it? Put a lot of thought into this. I really, I really do appreciate it. I, it, it blows my mind how how thoughtful y'all are. It really does. It makes my day. And it's kind of drab and rainy here today. You know, we have the remnants of that hurricane that's 
supposed to be moving through. It rained pretty much all day yesterday. And, uh, and it's supposed to be that way all day today. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's stickers. All their little stickers. It's a three pack from Natural Life Stickers. And it's a little bus. It says, do more of what makes your soul happy. Oh, it's stuck together. Yes, there are two. There are two of these three packs of stickers. I get six of them. Do more of what makes your soul happy. <laughs> Thank you. Those are cute. I've never seen little stickers like that. I've never heard of Natural Life either. Natural Life stickers. Little bus there with the <laughs> little surfboard on the top. Thank you. I'll stick these all over the place. Oh. I have another Otis Spunkmeyer chocolate chip muffin. These things are so heavy. They're so good. Oh my gosh, it's kind of hard to eat one all at once, but it, they are remarkably filling. Chocolate, chocolate chip. So it's a chocolate muffin. It's double chocolate. You get the chocolate muffin and the chocolate chips as well. So it's chocolate overload. Thank you for that. Yeah, I don't, I don't see those a lot because most of the stores I shop in don't have them because I get most of my groceries at either, I get most of my stuff at Aldi. And whatever I can't get at Aldi, I get at Walmart because they're cheaper than all the other grocery stores around here. Our grocery stores are remarkably expensive. I don't know why, but compared to Aldi especially, gosh, they are so expensive. I just, I just don't go there. I just can't justify paying more for something if I can go to another store and get it. They, they get the exact same thing for a lot less. I just, wow. These are heavy. My goodness. This is 15 ounces burger cookies. B-E-R-G-E-R. -E -E I'm not familiar with them either. They're from, and I'm going to mess this up, Deboff, but, De, bleh, Deboffer, De, Deboffery Bakeries, Baltimore, Maryland. What are these? Gosh, they're heavy. Now, this is something you don't see a lot of. I, there are a lot of, um, I've noticed there are a lot of treats like this that y'all have up north that we don't have here, except we have a lot of transplants down here. Now, if you want to find every Yankee in Greensboro, all you have to do is go to Costco on any day of the week, and they're, they're all contained in the Costco. I don't know why they're drawn to Costco like the swallows of Capistrano. They just keep coming back, and they all kind of concentrate in Costco. So because we have so many transplants here, you find stuff like this in Costco because there's a demand for it. But in the real world out here, you don't find it that much. Costco is like its own universe. Burgers. These are cool. Wow. And it's so heavy. I was trying to figure out what they are. Okay, it looks like they're chocolate covered, but they're incredibly heavy. It's a cookie with... Um, chocolate or fudge on it oh my goodness I gotta try this wow that is so heavy boy that looks so good oh my gosh I cannot wait I have so many good things to try okay we have one more thing and here's another store we don't have y'all have all kinds of stuff we don't have it's a reusable shopping tote, and I'm going to say the name wrong. Weiss or Weiss? We we I, Frank Markets. We don't have these here either. But look at this happy bag. Look at all the little popsicles on it. This one kind of looks like the one we we did the painting of that postcard, and it kind of looked like this, except it was pink, and it had two sticks. It's a happy little reusable shopping bag and I use these all the time because I go to Aldi and I don't want to pay for a bag so I just take my little reusable shopping bags in with me and I can use this one too. Thank you so much. That is that is so cheerful. That with my little towels. Where did I put my towels? I lost my towels. 
Where did I put them? Oh, see, this just makes me happy. Look at, look at the pretty colors there. That is so cheerful. Thank you so much. And that, wow, that is so much stuff. I am, I'm just, I'm blown away. I, I cannot believe it. Thank you, Rachel, so much. You are so sweet. It was my pleasure to send you the little, the little charm. I, wow. <laughs> That's awesome. I look forward to trying everything and enjoying my little towels and my bag and everything and my stickers. Oh, you, you are so thoughtful and so sweet and I really appreciate it. Thank you. And thank you to everyone else for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed seeing all these goodies. And I hope that wherever you are, you're having a good day and having good weather. And I will see you again really soon.